Hello everyone, this is me again teacher or and welcome back to my channel. For this video, I am going to discuss to you about simple and compound proposition. So, in this lesson, we are going to determine if a given proposition is simple or compound and we are going to combine simple propositions to form compound propositions. Okay, but first, Ano nga ba ang pinagkaiba ni simple at saka ni compound proposition? Okay, when we say simple proposition, it is a single declarative sentence. And on the other hand, when we say compound proposition, it is composed of simple or compound propositions. Ibig sabihin, dito sa compound proposition, kinocombine natin yung mga propositions, yung mga simple or compound propositions, to form compound propositions. Okay? So now, always remember that in compound proposition, to determine that a certain proposition is a compound proposition, it uses connectives or the operators. And let's discuss what are these connectives. First, we have the conjunction, which uses the operator AND. The second connective, we have the disjunction, which uses the operator OR. And the third connective, we have the conditional proposition, or another name of conditional proposition is implication, which uses the if-then statement or implies. And the fourth connective, we have the biconditional, which uses the if and only if statement. Okay, so those are the four compound proposition. Again, when you have the conjunction, when we say conjunction, it uses the operator and. And this is the symbol of our conjunction. If you can see this symbol, ibig sabihin, it signifies and or it is a conjunction. And the disjunction or or or, and this is the symbol of our disjunction. Again, this is the symbol of our disjunction. It signifies or. And the third connective, we have the conditional proposition. When we say conditional, my condition, like if then statement, or it implies. And this is the symbol of our conditional proposition. And the fourth connective, we have the biconditional, which uses the if and only if, and this is the symbol of our biconditional. Okay, let's elaborate more. Let's discuss more about the connectives of compound proposition with an example. Okay, we have here the given propositions. Today is Sunday. That is a simple proposition. Because it is a single declarative sentence. And we have the second, Jack woke up early. Again, we are going to form compound propositions. So we are going to combine simple propositions to form compound propositions. Okay? So let's start. We have the conjunction. So what is the symbolic form of conjunction? It uses the symbol AND. So, our symbolic form of conjunction is this, P and Q. Our P is, today is Sunday, and our Q is, Jack woke up early. So, our statement or our proposition under conjunction is, Jack, uh, today is Sunday, and Jack woke up early. So, P and Q. P is, today is Sunday. Q is Jack woke up early, so our statement is today is Sunday and Jack woke up early. Second, we have the disjunction. The symbol of disjunction is this. Therefore, our symbolic form is P or Q. And our statement is today is Sunday or Jack woke up early. So that is our disjunction. And we have the conditional proposition. This is the symbol of our conditional proposition. We have the P implies Q. P implies Q. So our statement is, if today is Sunday, then Jack woke up early. 
So that is our conditional proposition. And our biconditional is our symbolic form. This is a symbol. So that is our symbolic form. And our statement under biconditional proposition is today is Sunday if and only if Jack woke up early. So those are our connectives of the compound proposition. Again, in identifying proposition that it uh in identifying proposition if it's either simple or compound, it is compound if it uses the four connectives. Okay, now this time let's discuss to the truth table table or the truth value of each connective. Diba? Sinasabi natin on the first lesson of logic. Proposition is a building block of logic that is written in a declarative statement in which the truth value is either true or false but not both. So let's now proceed to the truth table of the conjunction. Let's discuss the rule or the law of conjunction. Now, in the law of conjunction, in conjunction, if both P and Q are true, then the truth value of the compound statement P and Q is true. Sinasabi dito sa law of conjunction, magiging true lang ang kanyang truth value if two propositions are true. Ibig sabihin, kapag may kahit isang false, automatically, the result is false. If there is false, then the truth value is false. So here is the truth table. We have the P, the Q, and the conditional or the truth value of the P and Q. So true and true. Diba sinasabi sa conjunction? If both P and Q are true, then the truth value of the compound statement is true. So we have two truths here. True and true. So the truth value is yes. That is true. Second, True and false. True and false. So we have false here. If there is false, then the truth value is false. So the, the truth value of the second is false. We have the false and true. So false. And false and false. False. Again, in the law of conjunction, always remember, magiging true lang ang kanyang truth value if they are both true. If may isang false, o kahit dalawa, kahit isang false lang, automatically, the truth value is false. That is the law of conjunction. Next, let's proceed to the law of disjunction, or the or. Okay. In disjunction or, if any of the propositions is true, or if they are both true, then the truth value of the compound proposition is true. True. Diba? Very clear. If any of the propositions, kahit isang true lang, hinihingi ni disjunction, bigyan mo ko na isang true promise, sasagutin kita. Char. Diba? Ganun ba dapat? O diba? Anun dapat? Conjunction ka ba or disjunction? Sinasabi ni conjunction, kailangan lahat true para tayo ay magiging true, para tayo ay mag-work. Or, it could be disjunction, bigyan mo lang ako na kahit isang katotohanan. Kahit isa lang. Tayo'y magkatuluyan. Ah, depende sa inyo kung sino sa inyo ang i-apply. Conjunction ba or disjunction? Okay. Sinasabi ni disjunction, bigyan mo lang ako ng kahit isang true, then our relationship will work. Sure. Okay. So let's try the, to find the truth value under the disjunction. True or true. Diba? Kahit isang true lang. Oh, dalawang true. Of course. That is true. We have... Second, true or false. May isang true. So, ibig sabihin, the truth value is true. Next, false or true. False or true. So, that is true. Next, false or false. Walang true. Walang ni isang katotohanan ang binigay mo sa akin. So, sorry. Hindi kita sasagutin. You are false to me. Yan. So, this is our, the, rule, the laws of conjunction and disjunction. This time, let's proceed to the conditional proposition. 
Okay, in conditional proposition class, let's emphasize it. Let, uh, let's emphasize it first that in conditional proposition and by conditional proposition, if both P and Q are true or both propositions are false, then the truth value is true. So ibig sabihin sa conditional at sa kani by conditional kapag parehas ang value ng dalawang statements, automatically the truth value is True. Diba? Nasabi, if both are true or if both are false. Ibig sabihin kapag pareha sila. Both false, both true. The truth value is true. Okay. So, let's discuss the truth table under the conditional proposition. Yun yung um, um, the similarity of conditional and biconditional. Okay. P. We have the PQ. P implies Q. Sinasabi ni conditional statement. True implies true. If they are both true, the result is true. Yan, because they are both true. The first part, but before that, let's emphasize class. Let's discuss first about the conditional statement or conditional proposition. We have two parts of the conditional proposition. We have the if and the then, right? Diba sa example? If today is Sunday, then... John woke up early. So we have two propositions in conditional statement. The first part is what we called as the antecedent or the hypothesis. O yung kasama ni if. Then the pangalawa, the second part, is what we called as the consequent or the conclusion. Let's go back to the previous example. We have the P. Today is Sunday. Our Q, Jack woke up early. Let's try to find the conditional statement. P implies Q. P implies Q. So, our conditional statement is, if today is Sunday, then John woke up early. We are using the if-then statement because we are in the conditional proposition. If today is Sunday, then Jack woke up early. So, in this statement, in this conditional proposition, our antecedent is, or our hypothesis is, Today is Sunday. While our second part or the consequent or the conclusion is a Jack woke up, is Jack woke up early. Okay? Or it can be another conditional statement. Another conditional statement. If you can see this statement, that is conditional. Q implies P. Why can we say that it is a conditional? Because it uses this implies symbol. So Q implies P. So, this time, it is interchanged. Nauna na naman si Q. So, the statement also will change depending on our symbolic form. Since Q comes first, our statement now is Q implies P. So, if Jack woke up early, then today is Sunday. And the antecedent as well as the consequent also will be changed. So, our antecedent in this statement is Jack woke up early. While our consequent is Today is Sunday. Okay, that is our conditional proposition. So now, let's proceed to the truth value or the truth table of conditional proposition. Sinasabi, sa conditional at sa kanibay conditional, magiging true sila if pareha silang true or pareha silang false. Ibig sabihin, if they have the same value, then the result is true. Kahit na false sila but they are the same, still the result is true. So let's start. True implies true. Are they the same? Yes, very good. They are the same, true. So the truth value is true. On the other hand, true implies false. Ito na. Class, listen. Sir, paano naman if magkaiba? Paano naman if hindi parehas yung kanilang value? Now, kung sino yung nagdadala sa pangalawa, o kung, kung ano yung value sa second part or sa consequent or the conclusion, that is the truth value. That is the result. Again, in conditional proposition, we need to focus on the consequent or the conclusion. Or we need to focus on the second part. Since we are using the P implies Q, true implies false. Therefore, sino yung pangalawa? False. Therefore, the truth value is false. Next, false implies true. Sino yung pangalawa? Our second is true. Therefore, the truth value is true. 
And false implies false. Sinasabi kanina, kapag pareha sila, if they're both false, then the truth value is true. So that is our conditional proposition. Now, let's, let's proceed to the last connective. We have the biconditional, which uses the if and only if statement. Again, sinasabi kanina, let me emphasize, let me repeat this part. In implication or in conditional statement, they are just the same. Implication is just the same with conditional statement. Okay. In implication and by conditional, if both P and Q are true or if both propositions are false, then the truth value is true. The same with conditional. Kapag parehas yung value ng dalawang proposition or dalawang propositions, then the truth value is true. Okay. And now, Paano naman if magkaiba? Automatically, if hindi magkaparehas regardless of the order, the result is false. Again, let me emphasize sa biconditional. Kapag parehas yung value, the result is true. Kapag hindi magkaparehas yung value, the result is false. So, let's try. True, eh, true, true. True, true. For biconditional, they are the same. So, the result, the result is True, yes. Second, true, false. Are they the same? No, magkaiba sila. True, false. So the result is false. Next, false, true. Are they the same? No, they are not the same. So the result is false. Last one, false, false. Are they the same? Yes, they are the same. So the truth value is true. Again, let me emphasize conditional statement and by conditional statement their similarity if the two if the two statements are true the result is true sa conditional statement kung sino yung pangalawa yun yung truth value dito sa by conditional if hindi magkaparehas yung value nila automatically that the result or the truth value is false if magkaparehas the result is true so those are the four connectives of the by uh, of the compound proposition. This time, let's try to answer activities to uh, apply what we have learned in our discussion. Okay. So, uh, uh, but before that, we have here the negation of a proposition first. Negation of a proposition. Ano nga ba to si negation? What is negation of a proposition? Negation. Okay. When proposition is said to be negated, it means that the truth value is changed and a new proposition is formed. Okay. Kapag nininegate daw, automatically, that, that signifies the truth value will be changed and a new proposition is formed. Next, negating a proposition is usually done by making the statement written as affirmative to negative or vice versa. So, gawin natin into its opposite dito sa negation. Example, you have your examples, propositions. Let's try to apply the negation form of number one. Today is Saturday. Sinasabi si negation. Negating is a, pro a proposition is usually done by making the statement written as affirmative to negative or vice versa. So this is affirmative. In negation, gawin natin, today is Saturday. The negation form is, today is not Saturday. Next. Number two, a square is not a rectangle. A square is not a rectangle. It is a negative. So let's change it into a positive. So the negation form of number two is a square is a rectangle. Then number three, the proposition is true. Kapag nininegate natin, magiging false. Next, number four, false. Nininegate natin, negation, magiging true. That is the law of negation. Okay, so now, let's discuss, uh, let's try to answer simple problems to apply what we have learned in this lesson. Okay, now the direction. Directions. Determine the following as simple or compound proposition. Write S if it is a simple proposition and write CP if it is compound proposition. Okay, let's start. Number one, Jane likes to eat apple. Have you read any connective? No. So the result is, the answer is simple proposition. Number two, 
it rains today and I can't go out. So, can you read? Have you read? Have you read a connective? We have, it uses the operator and. Yes, it uses the and. So, number two is compound proposition. Number three, a trapezoid is a quadrilateral. That is a simple proposition. Kasi nga, walang ginagamit na connective. Number four, if today is Sunday, then I go to church. So that is compound proposition. It uses the if-then statement. It uses the conditional proposition. And number five, red is not blue or violet is the mixture, mixture of blue and red. So that is a compound proposition. So you have now learned um, how to determine simple and compound proposition. Next activity. Write the conjunction, the disjunction, the implication, and the biconditional statement of P and Q. Represent each compound proposition into its symbolic form. Okay, we have here the given. Our two propositions, simple propositions are P, an animal is a blue jay. Q, it is a bird. So let's, uh, let's now write the statements of the four connectives. Let's start first with the conjunction. What is the symbolic form of conjunction? That is P and Q. Yes. So, ano yung operator ni conjunction? It uses and. So, the statement of conjunction is an animal is a blue jay and it is a bird. Our P is an animal is a blue jay and our Q is it is a bird. So, our conjunction is an animal is a blue jay and it is a bird. Next, this disjunction. So, P or Q. So, what is now our proposition or the statement? We have an animal is a blue jay or it is a bird. Yes, very good. Next, third, the implication. Our implication, P implies Q. P implies Q. So, our statement, P comes first. So, P is our antecedent and Q is our consequent. Okay, so the statement is, if an animal is a blue jay, then it is a bird. Yes. And last, we have the biconditional and that is the symbol of our biconditional. So our statement is, an animal is a blue jay if and only if it is a bird. Okay, very good. So those are our connectives of the compound proposition. So I hope we will learn how to convert the symbolic form into a statement or in the other hand, statement into a symbolic form. And we have here the last activity, directions. Write the compound proposition indicated by the connective. Write the answer on the space provided. Ayan, from a previous example. So given, an animal is a blue jay, that is the P. And our Q is, it is a bird. Number one, negation of P and Q. That is the symbolic form. Number one, negation of P and Q. So what is the statement? Ano yung P ninegate natin? So our statement is, what is the operation? And, so our statement is, an animal is not a blue jay and it is a bird. Bakit nagiging not? Kasi nga dito, ninegate natin si P. So, negation of P, an animal is a blue jay, magiging an animal is not a blue jay. So, our statement of number one is, an animal is not a blue jay and because of this symbol, and it is a bird. Yes. Number two, Q implies P. This time, Q is our antecedent and P is our consequent. So, what is the statement? It uses what symbol? implies symbol so the statement is if it is a bird then an animal is a blue jay next number three negation of q or negation of p it uses the or so our statement um q comes first so our statement is it is not a bird or an animal is not a blue jay Simple as that. And the last number, 
Biconditional. We are using the biconditional symbol. So, P, a negation of Q. Biconditional. So, the statement is, An animal is a blue jay if and only if it is not a bird. Okay, very good class. I hope and I believe that you have learned something about simple and compound propositions. And that ends our lesson for this video. Okay? Always remember that whatever you have been through in your life, always remember that you are blessed. You are beautiful and you are amazing. Once again, this is Teacher R saying thank you so much and may God bless us all.